Hi everybody, thank you so much for joining us this week. Uh, this week we're going to do tissue paper painting, so we're going to show you a cool technique to be able to turn out some really like watercolor style painting using tissue paper and crayons. So put that aside for in the meantime. If you haven't joined Summer Reading just yet, be sure to join us by going to longbeach.beanstack.org, creating your account and signing up for our Summer Reading Challenge. We have a ton of cool prizes for you to win, uh, books for you to read, activities for you to complete, reviews for you to write. I mean, just a ton of stuff. It's just the greatest reading program that we offer every year. What more can be said? If you're already part of Summer Reading, be sure to enter the code ORANGE into the activity tab of your reading challenge to earn a point for watching this activity today, and you may be one of the lucky winners of our gift card drawing at the end of this week, okay? If you picked up one of the tissue paper painting kits from one of our libraries, then you should have everything you need. Um, otherwise, you'll wanna gather a couple of supplies, which I'll tell you about in just a minute, okay? Uh, so get a little closer and I'll show you what we're doing today. Okay, so let's get tissue paper painting. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is set down some paper. I've got here some brown construction paper onto the surface that you're gonna be working so that you don't get it all messy. This craft is incredibly messy because water and pigment are involved. So if you have an apron, uh, be sure to put that on. If you want some gloves, be sure to find a couple of those so that your hands don't get all stained up. Um, and uh, we will go from there, okay? Take a second to protect your surface and yourself from pigments. Okay, I'm not gonna do that, so we'll get started. I've got these two pieces of brown construction paper here, and what we're making today essentially is a tissue paper resist painting. So you can see here that my uh, colleague Jessica created this. You'll see all the little spaces where she put tissue paper, and then you'll also see that she actually made a drawing of a sunflower before she put the tissue paper on using crayons. We gave you some crayons in the kit, either white or colored, so you'll see that you can actually do your own design using whatever colors you'd like, and then after that, put the tissue paper on there. Resist painting is a technique that is used when you lay down either wax or crayon or pastels, really anything that is waterproof, um, and then lay down a water-based paint on top. So you can see actually that you can see some of the crayon lines that resisted the watercolor and that's why it's called tissue paper resist painting. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is actually draw your design onto the watercolor paper and then we're gonna lay down the tissue paper. So grab your watercolor paper, here I've got a blank one and what I think I'm going to do is draw a ghost. So using this white crayon, I'm going to draw a ghost and you wanna be sure to really like lay down a crayon line. This, should, this is not the time to like draw lightly. You really wanna press down on the crayon to make sure that you get a really good crayon line. And I'll show you what I mean. So if you're drawing and you just do this, you lay down a super light crayon line. What you really wanna do with this so that the crayon has a chance to resist the watercolor is really, really press down. Be careful not to break the crayon, obviously, but you want something that is going to really, really, really protect the paper underneath from absorbing any watercolor. So you can see the difference. We've got a super light crayon line here, and then we've got a really thicker, more uh, sort of like potent crayon line there. And this is what you want, so that your design actually comes through, okay? So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna draw first a couple of eyes, and you may, may not be able to see what I'm doing because it's white crayon on white paper, but you can see I'm really, really pressing down here and making sure that we have a good amount of crayon there. Then I'm gonna space out and do the other eye for my ghost. You can actually do whatever design you want. If you wanna do flowers or a landscape or a person, you can really do whatever you like. I'm just doing a ghost because I feel like it's an easy thing to draw for the purposes of this video here today. Okay, so I've got my two eyes there. They're kinda of hard to see on video, but they're there. And the next thing I'm gonna need is a ghost mouth. And ghosts are always going like So it's gonna be an open ghost mouth. And then I'm gonna need a ghost shape. So I'm gonna do a nice ghost shape. And I'm gonna be sure to like go over it a couple of times so that, you know, it resists the watercolor. It's hard to see on the video, but it is there. And then I'm gonna do the ghost skirt is what I call it, where it's all roughly at the bottom, right? And then I'm just gonna go over that a couple of times here so that it resists the paper, or sorry, resists the, the tissue paper. Okay, so I've got my ghost and it has a couple of eyes, a little mouth, the ghost, you know, 
shape and then the ghost skirt at the very bottom. So now I'm ready to move on to the next part of this craft. If you're still drawing, go ahead and pause the video. And then when you're done drawing with crayon, hit play again to catch up with us uh, for the next part, okay? Those of you who are done drawing, keep on watching because what we're gonna do next is gonna be pretty, pretty cool. The next thing you're gonna need is your tissue paper. So you have a bunch of different colors. So at now is the time to decide which colors that you're going to use, right? My ghost is, you know, hanging out at nighttime. So I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna use any of the reds or oranges or, you know, I'm gonna use mostly blues and purples and maybe even a couple of greens because I wanna make it seem like it's nighttime where my ghost is. So you go ahead and decide which colors you wanna use. I'm gonna go ahead and put all of these sort of off to the side, except for the purples and the blues, maybe even some of the browns. And so this is really gonna set the color for um, what you're gonna be doing. So if you've got a scene that's in the daytime, you wanna be sure to use some of those yellows and lighter colors, you know, or maybe you just wanna do like a multicolored scene and that's perfectly okay too. So in that case, you can use any color or every color that came with, uh, with your tissue paper. Okay, so I think I've got enough. Um, so what we're gonna do now is I've got all of these pieces of tissue paper and what I'm going to do is with my spray bottle that came in your kit, you are going to uh, fill it up with water. If you don't, if you didn't pick up one of the kits, uh, just find any spray bottle around the house, put a little water in it, and that should work just fine, okay? You don't need a ton, a ton of water for this part, so don't get super, super crazy, but you do need a little bit. So what I'm going to do is move my tissue paper so it doesn't get wet, and then very, very gingerly spray um, my paper with my crayon drawing on it, okay? So I'm just gonna spray it a couple of times there. And the reason that we're spraying it now is so that the tissue paper actually has something to stick to. So you wanna make sure that it gets a little bit wet. And then what you wanna do is lay down your tissue paper and try to stick it a little bit to the paper that's underneath and wet. So you can see I'm doing this piece by piece. If you wanna rip these pieces into something smaller, you totally can. Um, I'm just doing it this way because it's a little bit faster. The watercolor paper may start curling as well, and that's okay, because you can always flatten it later, or put it in a frame, or put it on the fridge, really whatever. You also want to be mindful of the colors that you lay next to each other, because they're going to start to mix. Okay, so maybe I need a couple more pieces of tissue paper. And you're gonna find out once you do your own design that maybe, you know, oh, maybe I need a few more reds or maybe I need a few more of this. And that's okay, you have plenty of time. You can actually just go back to your stack of tissue paper and find the colors you need and then uh, add them to your design. So here I need a little bit more water up at the top and in the middle there. And I'm just gonna lay these down, the ones that I just got. And then once you're done laying down the tissue paper, you know, you could either fill up the, the whole paper if you want or just parts of the paper, it's up to you. But once you're done with the tissue paper, laying down of the tissue paper, you wanna give it another spray with your spray bottle. So we're gonna do this and you wanna make sure to get that tissue paper nice and wet, but not like so it's dripping, you know, just enough so that it actually starts leaching into the paper. So you can actually see in areas that there is a little bit of color being blended into the white paper. See, there's a little bit there, there's a little bit there. And in areas where you see like, you feel like there isn't enough, you can always spray a little bit more water or get the spray bottle a little bit closer to the paper so that it actually gets nice and wet. And then, once you have this, you actually just wanna let it dry, okay? So, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna leave this here and let it dry and I'll come back when it's uh, dry and then we'll take off the tissue paper to see the design underneath, okay? All right, folks, so uh, we waited a little bit of time for this to dry. We are back. It looks like it's pretty dry at this point. Um, so let's check out to see how the design turned out. Um, one of the cool things about tissue paper painting is that it's very unpredictable. I will say that now before I start peeling off these pieces of tissue paper. You can see they pretty much fall off. Um, 
and you just have to move them a tiny, tiny bit. But you can also see that my design actually came out pretty good. Um, you can kind of see that there's a little bit of a ghost there. You can see the little ghost skirt down at the bottom. You can kind of see the, you know, the face here and some of the bell up here. Um, so yeah, so that is my, my ghost design. Um, you can see why it's so important to really, really press down on the crayon because the crayon is what protects the paper underneath from absorbing the pigment in the tissue paper. I probably could have pressed down a little bit harder up here um, or even sprayed a little bit more water, but this is a pretty cool little ghost, uh, little ghost tissue paper painting that I've got going on here. So um, hopefully your design turned out really, really good and really, really colorful. Now that you know this technique, you can actually do a bunch of different things with it. Um, okay, everybody, so we're pretty much done with our tissue paper paintings. I made myself a ghost. If you aren't finished, uh, keep working, no biggie. Um, now that you know the resist paint technique, you can actually use crayons or wax or pastels, really anything kind of waxy like that, along with any water-based paint, for example, watercolors, if you have those at home, or the tissue paper that you didn't use for this one um, to make more art. Not bad, huh? You can use all the color that is inside of the tissue paper and watercolor to really, you know, bring out your creativity. So thanks for joining us today. If you haven't typed in the code orange into the activity tab of your Beanstack Challenge, be sure to do so now so that you get a point for joining us today and crafting with us. Um, in that case, we'll see you next week. Take care and uh, don't stop reading. Bye.